Harley Quinn is a DC Comics character whose popularity has skyrocketed in recent years, so much so that she is now getting her own animated TV series. The series is going to be set on DC's new streaming site, along with Titans and Young Justice. The site is set to launch in 2018, though a more exact date is still unknown. 26 episodes have been ordered for Harley Quinn's first season, and the show is labelled as Adult Animation. Exactly what that means is anybody's guess, but given her sexual relationship with Poison Ivy, it will most likely mean they could share in a few romantic scenes. Sweet, sweet Harley. This time you'll be a good girl for Mama. Not likely there'll be any nudity, but a lot of people thinking seeing two people with the same gender kiss is too adult for kids. Never really understood why, but that's people for you. And though there could be a lot of steamy moments, most likely adult animation just means the show will be more mature and complex with its characters and themes. The show will be loosely based on the Harley Quinn comic book series, which sees her moving away from the Joker and roughing it alone in Gotham City in search of success. Though I'm sure the Joker will feature at some point, because everyone will want him to be in the show, though since the focus is moving away from him, it's possible that it will just be in flashback scenes. Not much information is known about the show at the moment, though this picture was released with the announcement of the show, but DC have said that the show's animation style may not necessarily look like this. But going by the picture, the show will probably feature Poison Ivy, Clayface, Kite Man, Magpie, King Shark, The Condiment King, Killer Croc, and most likely all the villains you would associate with Batman, and probably the Suicide Squad characters as well. As for the actress playing Harley Quinn, the showrunners are hoping to get Margot Robbie, who of course played her in the live-action Suicide Squad movie. Next to her, my personal choice would actually be for Tara Strong, even though I think her portrayal in Injustice 2 was a little over the top with the high-pitched voice. One thing we do know, Scarecrow's gonna ship Grot a buttload of fear gas from a hideout in Slaughter Swamp. Very mosquito-y. Nevertheless, she's still done the character very well before, and I think she would be good on the show. I must say, the announcement of this new show is giving me hope that DC's streaming service will actually be worthwhile and isn't just a money-grabbing scheme to get hold of our cash. Because if they are going to produce more superior animated shows, then it may actually be worth signing up to the site. In recent years, DC have started releasing animated films more frequently, and I'd love the same to happen with different DC comics being turned into TV shows. And with DC's new streaming site, this is very possible. Now, it is true that the recent film Batman and Harley Quinn was absolute garbage, which isn't very encouraging, but this show is being made by a different team, led by the team who created the show Powerless, meaning Justin Halpern, Patrick Schumacher, and Dean Laurie. And I hope they do Harley Quinn the justice that the character deserves. But what do you think of Harley Quinn getting her own show? And what plots do you want the show to cover? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needlemass Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that's helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.